All right, so members of the media, hello and welcome. My name is Romy Schleifus. I'm the media officer for South Africa for Bafana Bafana. We're going to have a quick press conference uh, with Coach Kavadi Awara as well as Coach Hugo Gross. We have our captain, Jenny Mortoy, here as well today. So I'm going to open the floor. We're going to start with our home coach, that is Coach Hugo Gross, to address you. Uh, we're going to go to Coach Kava then to address you. Jenny will address you and you're happy to ask uh, questions as well. Um, um, I can be short today. I think uh, the team uh, make a good performance. Um, we asked that of the players because um, those are two friendly games. So the result was not so important, even what we like to win today. But okay, I think uh, my team played a very good game. We had six, seven chances. So when there was a team who has to win the game today, it was uh, South Africa. Um, we had a little problem uh, when you see the tall guys of Green. Um, that was sometimes a problem with uh, the aerial uh, duels. But on the football uh, level, I think we played a very good game. And again, I'm very happy with the performance. I'm going to hand over to the Phoenix coach just to address you as well. Hi, everybody. Uh, we also are happy because of the, the results. We play 0 0. We try to win. We have uh, some good, good chances to open the score. And thereafter, we, we are facing a very good team of South Africa. We are just meeting the players one, two days before the game. So we don't have enough time to, to work. And uh, we have also a lot of injuries there, a massive player for us. So with uh, that kind of uh, condition, we are, we are very happy to draw today. And we also give uh, the first selection for, the, for four or five uh, players, uh, Guinness, so also for, for them it was very important uh, not to lose. So we are, we are happy and we are keep going, keep uh, working to have a good team and be ready for the qualification games in June. Thank you. Veli Mortua, our captain today to address the media. Veli? Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, as a uh, South African team, the team that uh, played today, we played uh, very well. We played structure stuff. We played uh, we got from the coach and uh, the national very well. So uh, good uh, new player who just played uh, his first cap to Tava. And then uh, with so many chances that we missed, I think uh, we're looking forward to the next game that we're going to play. But so far today it was a good game. And then uh, somehow, somehow we need to fix uh, what we uh, broke. But uh, I think with the coach and uh, his ideas, everything's going to be good. Thank you. Coach Hugo was a good thing at home, leading your team today. Was it good being at home leading your team today? Oh, <laughs> yes, it's always nice to come back in, uh, in your country. So, um, and if your team uh, gives a performance like this, it's always uh, nice to come back. Taking questions now from the media, please, if you could just say your name and the media house you represent. Questions. Go ahead. C'est vous, Tata Diallo, Canal Plus, coach. La même question pour les deux coachs en, en, en français, bien sûr. Uh, quelle analyse faites-vous uh, de cette uh, rencontre amicale De mon côté, je suis, je suis très, très content avec la performance de mon équipe. <coughs> on a fait un, un très bon match, on a joué un beau football, on a créé beaucoup d'occasions. Si je sais bien compter, je pense 6 ou 7. Et euh, quand on regarde l'ensemble du match, je pense qu'il n'y avait qu'une équipe qui pouvait gagner le match aujourd'hui, c'était nous. Surtout au niveau des chances qu'on a, ou des occasions qu'on a eues. I don't know if you guys just want to move down. There are more chairs here so that everybody can kind of fit if there's anybody else. <coughs> okay, taking other questions? C'est ok, je peux répondre en français, par contre. Cette fois, je peux mieux répondre, coach. Euh, ok, vous avez eu des, des chances, mais je crois qu'on a eu les premières chances dans le match. On a ce problème d'efficacité en Guinée qu'on que, que, que part à corriger. Donc il va falloir se, se, se pencher là-dessus. Mais on a des joueurs qui viennent de nous, de nous rejoindre. 
des joueurs de, de grande qualité. C'était leur premier match aujourd'hui, donc on a pu en, en mettre 4 ou 5. Et malgré le fait qu'il y ait des absents, on a pu quand même faire un bon point de jeu. Et c'est sur ça que qu'on a basé le travail cette semaine. Donc on va, on va continuer à travailler là-dessus, intégrer des jeunes joueurs pour essayer de, de répondre aux, aux nouveaux projets. Et espérons que nous serons prêts pour le mois de juin pour, pour bien commencer les, les planifications à la ferme. Mazola yeah. Coach, I suppose you obviously will go back to, to reflect uh, on, you know, in terms of the, the final third, how to, how to kill games off to, 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 to some degree, but just a summary of, of you know, how you bridge the gap in terms of how you are building so well at the back and then the final product. The final product is, uh, is scoring, I think, and uh, it's maybe the only negative point you have today. When you have uh, so many chances, you have, you have to score once, uh, but we didn't. But, uh, but again, on the other side, uh, we create chances. And that was in the last games, not always like that. Uh, we played good football. Um, we were good in defense. So again, I'm, I'm happy. And, and, and we started in September with the young team. And uh, we evaluated the situation after uh, the qualifiers for, uh, for the World Cup, uh, which we did very well, but that stupid goal killed us. And, and now we are going on building and we have to be ready, like my colleague said, in June. That's the most important thing. And if we go on like this, if we go on progressing like this, I'm sure that we'll be ready for June. Oui, c'est vous, c'est un, un grand joueur, grand par la taille et grand par le talent. Donc je pense qu'il va nous apporter vraiment ce qui nous a manqué à la Coupe d'Afrique, c'est-à-dire de l'efficacité. Aujourd'hui, il n'a pas pu vraiment se mettre en, en œuvre parce que justement, il est, il est nouveau. Et le temps que ses, ses collègues le trouvent, il n'a pas eu assez de séances. En fait. Et je pense que en venant, il a le bon état d'esprit et il a la bonne attitude. Après, pour les entrants qui sont, qui sont venus, on pense à Paris, c'est un jeune joueur qu'on a, qu a vu en, en Ligue 2 en Espagne. Il provoque bien, il, il prend les espaces, il utilise sa, sa vitesse et sa technique, mais c'est encore un, un jeune joueur, donc il faut qu'il progresse aussi au niveau de, de l'efficacité. Et après, les entrants qui sont, qui sont arrivés en deuxième période, c'est pareil, c'est que des jeunes joueurs, mais comme je le dis, ça fait partie du projet. On veut rajeunir cette équipe, on veut construire une équipe jeune avec une identité encore plus technique, parce qu'on est guinéen et qu'on aime ça au pays. Donc voilà, je suis très content de leur apport et j'espère qu'on sera vite prêt pour entamer les matchs de qualification parce que c'est vraiment le plus important et ça commence au match. Taking last three questions. One, two, three. Yeah. Your team is it, uh, ready to uh, play against uh, the world champion of France in, in the next uh, in the game? That's another, <laughs> that's another, uh, another question. So we know that you will be, be, be very, very happy to play against the world champion with all high class players. Um, but it will be a very good experience for us. Um, South Africa in the, in the past played always games against little teams yeah. so that they were sure before the game that they could win. But you don't learn anything. I think what we had today, the team of Vini, we learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And we will learn a lot next Tuesday. So again, whatever the, the result is, uh, when I see my team playing uh, like I want, but the quality is higher. Okay, um, uh, I'm happy with that. Um, again, a good experience in Tuesday, and I think uh, also the players are looking forward. Um, Brian Swazawati from Kuka Sport. Um, so today we saw two teams um, that have added a lot of young players to their squad. Um, what have you learned over this period from your squad itself, from this game and this camp from the last week? And uh, how would you think you can improve as a team to the upcoming tournaments? We in South Africa started with the young team in September. And uh, 
uh, everybody was asking, uh, oh, what are they going to do for the World Cup? They did a very good race. Um, but we still have to progress. And what I see now, or what I saw in September, is a day and night difference. So we progressed. And that's the most important thing. We had some new players also, some older players also, but because we had the lack of experience in our team because they were so young. And, and I think we did a good choice. Uh, this team is progressing, is getting better and better. So the goal is June and after next year. So we, were, we want to be there. Same question more for you. Okay, for us, uh, we, we explain uh, the way we want to play. And we want to re rebuild the team with uh, young players. So we had on the list uh, four or five kind of players. So so we we improve a lot, and we have a uh, two three session during the week, and they they show they can play. And now today the the owner has a first cap. So and we see they have the, the ability, the techniques, and the speed. To, to play the Guinea, so now it's up to us to, to keep going, continue to, to grow and build the team to be ready for, for June. Thank you. Donc, uh, Guinea Foot, une question pour Kamaliara. Comme uh, vous, avez, vous avez beaucoup de nouveaux joueurs, uh, et vous savez qu'on a une deuxième journée FIFA qui va se jouer dans quelques jours. Si toutefois on arrive à trouver une équipe adverse, Qu'est-ce que vous pouvez changer Qu'est-ce que vous allez changer pour, pendant ces deux jours pour pouvoir améliorer l'équipe Je pense qu'on va, on va changer l'équipe encore. On va essayer de, 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 de changer même le schéma tactique. On voit que, que les joueurs répondent, ils s'adaptent. On fait des essais à l'entraînement et on a la réponse en, en match. Aujourd'hui, on a changé. On est, on est passé du 4-2-3-1 alors qu'à la canne, on était plutôt en, en 3-5-2. Et à la fin, on a, on a, on a fini en 4-3-3 avec des... Euh, des bons ailiers rapides et donc c'est vraiment le jeu qu'on qu a envie de, de faire en Guinée. Donc là on a pris ce genre de, de joueurs malgré leur, leur jeune âge et le fait qu'ils aient joué le, le premier match pour eux. Donc euh, on a eu des bonnes réponses. Si on a la chance de jouer mardi, je pense qu'on euh, va encore faire encore 4-5 changements. Merci. 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 On that, on that note, thank you very much to the media, to the coaches, captain as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, thank you.